All right, the next step in creating this assembly is that I want to come over here and select a axle part. So I'll select the axle underscore 10 and I'll bring it into my assembly here. And what I want to do is, is I want this axle to be able to turn and rotate and to be able to add in the mechanism design uh, module to actually put a motor on it so it can turn at a set rate. So I want to go under the user define and select pin and this constraint set automatically allows me or tells me that it knows that it wants to be inserted into a part which is select the aligning axis or edge on one part and what I'm going to do is I want to utilize surfaces to define that axis so I'm going to select a outer surface of the pin or the axis rather and I'm going to select an inner surface of the hole in the beam and now the next thing it wants me to do is it wants me to select a point or planar surface on one part so I'll select this act the, the the flat surface of the axle and the flat surface of the beam and you might notice that it's created this little yellow arrow. It's hard to see, but that's going to be our motion axis. And uh, I'm going to leave it like this for right now. Uh, well, let me come in here and say that I want to turn off the, uh, the coincident constraint, and I'm going to drag it through a little bit, and you'll see that the uh, little yellow arrow stays where it's uh, where it's located at the interface between the beam and the axle. I'm going to say that I'm done. My beam turns nice and black because that's the color of the Lego uh, model. And I can now look at it in also the wireframe view. All right, now if I go back to the shaded view and I utilize my hand part here, I can recognize that I can rotate the beam around, or the axle rather. And if you come over here to the model tree, you will see that the model tree, the part for the axle, has a little box next to it indicating that it's not fully constrained. But of course, we don't want it to be fully constrained because we want to be able to rotate it. All right, I'm going to close out of this, and that concludes the addition of the axle to my Lego assembly.